It's restaurant week in the Mile High City. How long have we been waiting to hear that? Visit Denver.org has all the locations of the restaurants that are participating this year. Still, some of them have limited capacity. You might be eating outside, but who cares? We're eating at restaurants again. <laughs> I wanted to cry a little bit. That was a terrible, that was a terrible crying, but who cares? We can eat at restaurants again. Visit Denver.org. Find those lists of restaurants that are involved for restaurant week. And speaking of restaurants, we told you last week about Casa Bonita filing for bankruptcy. We'll save CasaBonita.org. They were raising money to try to save Casa Bonita, and they had a rally over the weekend. And, you know, hashtag I'm from Denver. We had to be there. Bananas here. Underneath Bananas is Andrew Novick. He's been to Casa Bonita over 300 times. And we are trying to save Casa Bonita. This is my uniform from 1986 through 1990. Yeah. I can tell you working at Casa Bonita was one of the most fun jobs of my life and it is a dream job for any high schooler who is very social. <laughs> this is my original, original badge, original bling, wow. uh, flair, flair, yeah, and now Bananas has some flair, vintage flair. Oh, but awesome. we're, we all just love Casa Bonita and we just want to have a voice in making sure it stays a Denver icon and uh, thrives after the pandemic. If you saw last week's rundown, then you saw the segment where we had the sports update, right? Well, check it out. You guys gave us such good feedback and like that so much that Nate Lundy and Mile High Sports, we're bringing you a rundown just for sports and it's all starting on Friday. Elitch's is opening back up, but only 3,200 of you are gonna get in when they actually open up the doors to their park. Every day, but every day they're gonna have everyone wear the mask, they're gonna sanitize all the rides, and then you still are doing the six feet social distancing. But who cares, as long as Elitch is opening and we get in there, that's all I care about. So just make sure you you're one of those 3,200 when they open their doors and go ride some rides. And seeing because it's restaurant week and we've been talking about Casa Bonita for the last two weeks, I got a little hungry for some tacos. So we asked you guys, what was the best taco place in Denver? You told us Agave Taco Bar. So I went there to check it out myself. Hey, it's producer Wiggins, hashtag I'm from Denver, and everyone on this page has been telling us where to eat, where to drink in the Mile High City. So today, because of your suggestions, we're at Agave Taco Bar. Let's go check it out. I got my YOLO, YOLO margarita. It's like they know me here. Uh, Sean's the manager here at Agave Tacos. Uh, now I'm just gonna enjoy the cocktail and wait for some tacos. Oh, Sean, I thought this drink was good. Look at those. Oh yeah, brother, I got us a little assortment. All right, break it down for me, man. All right, since we're doing brunch, I had to throw out some of our brunch tacos. So we got our chorizo and egg, we got our pork and egg tacos, we got our beef tongue, we got our al pastor, which is our pork and pineapple. We got our chicken tinga con papas, which is our potato and chicken. And then we've got our fish taco on oh there. Oh my God. So tell me about the specials, because you got specials uh, on the weekend, $13 bottomless mimosas. Mm -hmm. And then what, what else you got? Uh, so we got a happy hour going every day from three to six. We got $6 margaritas. We got $5 nachos. We're doing $4 shots. Oh. All right, you're looking for tacos. You're looking for happy hours. <laughs> Agave taco, you need to get down here. You need to get one of each and then order another round, then come back on Tuesday. Uh, but I appreciate you. If you guys are looking for the best taco in town, I think this is it right here. Hashtag, I'm from Denver. Thank you guys for tuning in. There you go, Mile High City. You kept telling us where to go. Hashtag, I'm from Denver. You're saying the best restaurant, the best bars. You told us Agave Taco Bar, and that's exactly where we went. But we're not done yet. If you have a restaurant, you have a bar, you got a location that we need to go try, the best food and the best drinks, who am I to complain? Let us know about it. Hashtag, I'm from Denver. Thank you for watching Agave Taco Bar. Check it out in Wash Park. I'm Producer Wiggins. Thank you guys for watching. So we have a lot to celebrate here. Hashtag, I'm from Denver, because We've not only just launched this, this rundown for you guys and have taken our platform to the next level and gotten uh, involved in the Mile High City with restaurants and businesses, but you guys have made this page what it is. And we just hit that 300,000 follower mark. And so we wanna give you guys, or one of you guys, $300, that's right. So all you gotta do is comment with hashtag 300. One of you guys is gonna be selected randomly, of course, to win that $300. But you're not gonna find out who you are until the next episode of The Rundown, which airs every, or streams, I should air, that's so old school, right? Which streams every Wednesday right here on the I'm From Denver Facebook page. So thank you guys for making this page 
such a success. And keep watching these I'm From Denver channels. We're just blowing this up and taking it to the next level. And shout out to everyone in the Mile High City just because we're getting back out there, man. Restaurant week, I'm still, still a little teary-eyed from, from topic number one. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Fiverola Tattoos coming at you live with a quick PSA. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, like buying from Tynes. There's nothing like a new, you know, car smell in this Pathfinder. There's nothing like a lifetime powertrain warranty that you can get at one dealership in the entire state, and I'm inside of it right now. <laughs> and there is nothing, and I mean nothing, like buying from a five-year-old with tattoos. Come see your boy. Let's go. <laughs>